To see a more comprehensive use of this 3D layer that I'm about to demonstrate, like in this video, check out the link in the description below. This is going to be an overview of how to work with the other type of 3D layers within After Effects. Create a new composition, and you could do this now or later. Let's call this the 3D layer. When I mean this, going to 3D Renderer, you could choose the Renderer Classic, which is very cool for getting this diorama origami shapes going within your scene. Switching to Cinema 4D gives you a bunch of options, such as extruded and beveled text. You do lose some things like blending modes, track mats, etc. And you're going to have to weigh what you need. Luckily, you can take this 3D renderer set to rendering with Cinema 4D and you can pre-comp it into its own layer. And then that layer can live within the classical 3D layer, just your regular rendering mode. And you can switch back at any composition by using Classic 3D. And that way you get the best of both, where you get this awesome 3D environment happening within a pre-comp and then using everything that you're familiar with in a regular composition. So after selecting that type of 3D layer, type some text and keep it simple, 3D text. That will be the word. Moving it over here. Click this cube to make it a 3D layer. And that's all you have to do. Now it's a 3D layer, but how to see that's 3D layer. Expand the properties and go to geometry options. Add an extrusion to it. You can see it get thicker. You can add some bevel to it too. To start to see this layer a lot better, add a camera. So right click here. We're going to layer, new camera. Press the C key to toggle between the different camera attributes over here. So C, C, and C. So this one will allow you to orbit around. Now it all looks flatly shaded because of the light source. To add a light source, right click in this area or go under layer, new, light. Same thing as right click, new, light. I'm selecting a point light. That's the easiest one to deal with when you're getting started. It's like a light bulb shining all over the place. Spots require a target. And so that's a little harder to manipulate when you're just starting out. So point lights are very good. You can pick the point light color. You always can come back and adjust its settings. All right. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see the shading going on. To position this light, just go back to your move tool and you can lift it up. And you can move it over. To dolly and dolly it out of the scene. That's like zooming in, zoom out. Press the C key again until you see this symbol. And now you could drag to go further back or drag to go forward. You might notice that it's a little slow. To speed things up, click this icon right here. And that's fast 3D. I also have this icon selected so you can see a grid, which is very helpful. And now you'll feel how easy it is to zoom in and zoom out, pressing C key again, orbit around your scene. So this grid plus turning on draft 3D is very helpful when looking for objects in your scene like this light. Let me pick up the move tool again, which is right here. And I'll just drag that light source over here and drag it over here. And C key again, and with draft mode on, you can feel how liberating it is, how free flowing this viewport is. This is such an excellent way to work with your 3D layers. And so this is a brief introduction to 3D layers. Check out the video in the description below to create more with this technique. You can take this and pre-comp it, or I can just create a new composition, composition, new composition, and I'll call this my final comp and I blew past the important setting. So I'm gonna go with this final comp selected, going under composition, composition settings, and for its 3D, 
I'm going to switch back to Classic 3D. And it's very important to always switch back to Classic 3D. After Effects remembers the last setting. And so if you get stuck, it's like, where is everything that I'm used to? Make sure under rendering, you're back in Classic 3D if that's what you're looking for. So this composition is Classic 3D. And this is our 3D Cinema 4D renderer. And I could drag this comp into here. And now I could just use it as part of my regular scene assets, retaining all the 3D stuff. And again, check out the video in the link and you'll see how we could really advance this look in 3D, adding textures to it and bevels and reflections. So that's an awesome video to watch after you get the basics.